last guided tour was with Live Tours again. Our guide, Emily, was very good. We went with four other ladies from New York. It took about two or three hours, but we did cover a lot of Florence. And Emily was very knowledgeable and answered all our questions. I, again, I could not highly recommend Live Tours enough. It wasn't part of our tour with Emily, but we did get tickets to go to the top of the Doma that evening. It was a great experience. Reach the top of the Doma, you have to take this little stairway. It's 463 steps. It took us about 30 minutes to get to the top. If you don't like stairs, I suggest don't do it. They don't have an elevator, but it wasn't too bad. When you get to the top, there's like a catwalk, so you can walk around. You can get to see the paintings on the ceiling. They're truly unbelievable. Then lastly, you can go out on the balcony that overlooks all of Florence. Great experience. I highly recommend doing this. We had a great time. And we made it over to the famous Ponte Vecchetto Bridge. I'm sure I pronounced it wrong. The last place Emily took us was to go to the gallery where David is. And I didn't realize how huge the statue is. It's over 17 feet. It took Michelangelo from 1501 to 1504 to complete. They call David the masterpiece of the Renaissance. It truly is amazing. Tickets also got us in the Domo Museum. It has over 700 religious statues, pieces of artwork. So we went to the famous San Lorenzo Market, which has oodles of purses, belts, everything else, but we went for the food. The food was phenomenal. They have all kinds of different meats, cheeses, produce, and they cook it right there. It's very reasonably priced, so we went back and ate there twice. Go to Florence and you like wine, you have to go to Tuscany. It's less than an hour ride. And we did a wine tasting trip, probably with 20 other people. We went to do two different wineries. It's a great experience. I'll learn more about wine making and also olive oil, because a lot of these wineries do both. They make wine and olive oil. The second one we went to was this Lorenzo, which is he was really informative. He sat down with us. His grandfather owned this. His father owned it. Now he's running it. And it was really a great experience. And of course, they had a lot of good anti-pasta courses between our wine tasting, which I loved. If you go out there, I suggest you do a wine tasting.